Hi everybody, I'm Elise from the blog LePetiteSaintCrochet.com and today I am so excited to be bringing you my favorite Easter knitting and crochet projects. I have three different projects for you from three different designers. Two of them are crochet, one of them is knitted, but they are all absolutely adorable. I've got you covered. All of the resources will be in the description box below. You'll find links to every single thing that I'm talking about, all the free patterns, all the goodies, all the good stuff. The first project I want to share with you is the Bitty Bunnies. I actually designed these last year for the Hook Nook blog and I think they turned out really, really adorable. They are a very, very simple amigurumi project. If you have some basic crocheting skills, these would actually make a great first amigurumi project. They don't take that long and on my blog, the entire pattern is free and I have a lot of photos for you to show you exactly how to make them. I think that they're really sweet. They definitely are. They are Benedict and Beatrice. They are twins. They are little bunny twins. I have a theme going on this year with bunny twins, but I think they're really beautiful. They are made with Barocco Vintage or Worsted Weight yarn, but you could use any yarn that you have and a hook size that you really like. I use a size E hook with my Worsted Weight yarns. They are really simple, quite easy to make, and I would love to see, if you ever do make them, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see them, or on Facebook. You could share them on Facebook with me but I think they're really cute. The little girl Beatrice has a little skirt and a little striped top and she has a little bow up here which I think is so cute. And then little Benedict just has a nice little scarf because you know sometimes around Easter time it is not actually warm enough yet just to run around in t-shirt and shorts. I will say it's pretty warm here right now. Last year in March it was still a little bit chilly but I love this duck egg blue and the little pink and the buttercream color with this oatmeal for their ears. I just think they're really sweet and they're super, super simple. Now, this project that I want to share with you right now is not the little bunny. I'm going to talk about him in just a minute, but I'm talking about this little teeny tiny carrot. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I have never crocheted food before and now I want to crochet all the food. This little carrot is from the amazing Jen Hayes from Jen Hayes Creations. This is a free pattern on her blog right now and let me just tell you something these whip up so quickly that even if it is the Saturday before Easter you could whip up a couple and put them as decorations or maybe you want to stick them in Easter baskets but they are really a lot of fun they're really small actually she uses a worsted weight yarn in her actual pattern but I decided to do a sport weight and a size C hook for these because I wanted to make them really small because I wanted them to go with these teeny tiny little bunnies I I'm obsessed. I want to make all the carrots. I just want to keep crocheting carrots. She actually told me, and I hope this is okay to share, that she will be adding the cabbage pattern as well. I'm going to crochet some cabbage because the cabbage sound absolutely, they're beautiful. Go check out her account. Go check out her blog. Go check her out on Instagram. She is a lovely, lovely human being. Jen is just the kindest. She is just a delight. Now these, of course, are the knitted bunnies from from Little Cotton Rabbits. If you've been here before, you know that I love these patterns so much. This is the small bunny pattern. This is not the standard size or the mini. This is the small. I have shared little Henrietta before with her little bumblebee dress, but this is her twin brother, Herman. I just finished him and I think he is really, really cute in his little matching sweater. So his is a little yellow and white striped sweater with the gray shorts. I think he turned out really adorable. And you can see, I love that in the little shorts, you can have a little place where you leave the opening so that you could see there are little tails on the back. I think he turned out really, really cute. But one thing that I think is just so much fun about these is that I am actually using them as home decor for this Easter. I am sticking them in a place that I usually like to just decorate for holidays. It's my little tiered tray in my kitchen. And so I thought these are going to look so cute because they're not too small, they're not too big, and they're going to go perfect in there. Now, I do have a secret to share. These are not going to be residing with me for much longer. They are actually gifts to two beautiful and lovely ladies who will be receiving these very soon, but I am being selfish and I'm keeping them for Easter.
packing up a little box for our 24 year old daughter who lives all the way in Missouri. She is in her first year of her PhD program. And I thought little things like nail polish and some chocolate, a face scrub, a beauty blender, a little stuffed animal, just something fun. And of course, some little bunny ears. Just something from home, something cute just so that she knows that we still love her, we're still thinking about her, and we wish she could be home for Easter. I hope you all enjoyed these Easter projects. I really had so much fun bringing them to you today. If you would please like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. All the resources will be listed in the description box below. And I hope you have a wonderful Easter. I know if you're watching this in real time, it's 2020. Things are not exactly normal, but I hope you have a wonderful holiday with your family. Anyway, see you all next week.